Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is cancer care, from diagnoses to survivorship, and we're fortunate to have with us two individuals to talk about uh, cancer care uh, from survivor, uh, from uh, diagnosis to uh, survivorship. Uh, Dr. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I busted that. Dr. Stephen, Stephen Wolf. Wolf. I'm sorry, Dr. Wolf. And Miss Beverly Weatherspoon. Uh, we're sorry about that. Uh, who will talk about uh, some instances in reference to uh, the uh, topic th today. And so let's start off, Dr. Wolf. Uh, that with, with this mental block that I had all of a sudden. Uh, let's start off by having you and Miss Weatherspoon to give us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of bringing you to us this morning, and after which we'll have an opportunity to talk about uh, the uh, cancer program that you are the director of. And let's start off with you, Dr. Wolf. Well, thank you. So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to show you my age now. Well, so you, you, you'll also show me mine. <laughs> okay. <Sure. laughs> okay. So, so, my, so my career was mostly at Vanderbilt University. Mm -hmm. I spent 20 years mm -hmm. as w one of the cancer doctors mm -hmm. there. And then a few years ago, I decided that uh, I wanted to sort of give back to the community. Mm -hmm and I moved to the general hospital mm -hmm. to take care of cancer patients mm -hmm. there. I should tell you that many years ago when I was a young doctor, mm -hmm. learning how to be a doctor as an intern, mm -hmm. I spent many sleepless nights at the old National General Hospital mm -hmm. on 2nd Avenue, and I thought that working at that institution now would be a great way to um, fulfill my career obligations. Mm -hmm. And so you're at General Hospital now right. uh, with, the, with the Cancer Care Center, that, and, and you're the uh, director of that. Uh, yes. Okay. So, so I did my internship and in mm -hmm. residency at Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. I did medical school at the University of Illinois, mm -hmm. and I'm initially from New York, mm -hmm. and I'm now proud to say I've been living in Tennessee for over 30 very years. Very good. Uh, very good. Of course, I'm I, a Tennessean now. That, that's very good. And, of course, I, I know your Vanderbilt relationships, and et cetera. I started at Vanderbilt mm -hmm. uh, back in 19, well, don't want to reveal my age. I'm 70 years old. Uh, Ms. Weatherspoon, uh, why don't you give us some information about your background and education and that kind of information? Well, I'm a surgical physician assistant. Mm -hmm. I have my master's in science medicine that I, um, I got here at Trevecca University mm -hmm. in Nashville. And um, uh, my undergrad's from Austin Peay State University, so I am a Tennessean as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, Dr. Wolf, uh, let's uh, see if we can start off by talking about uh, the uh, center that you are the uh, director of. Exactly what does this mean? I mean, what kind of center is this cancer care center? So, so I'm very um, proud to be here, actually. Mm -hmm. We have a full-fledged cancer center and cancer program at the National General mm -hmm. Hospital. Mm -hmm. That means that we can take care of any patient mm -hmm. from the start of therapy to the end of therapy, mm -hmm. and we have availability, all sorts of resources mm -hmm. there. And so you've got a very, very uh, successful program already, and you want to talk about that uh, program today. And what are some of the things that you would like, like uh, to uh, talk about today dealing with this program? Well, I think that Beverly and I are going to talk about cancer mm -hmm. in general. Okay. We're going to talk about what, what risk factors are for mm -hmm. cancer. I think most importantly, we're going to talk about how to lower your risk of developing mm -hmm. cancer. And maybe least important, because most patients will never mm -hmm. face this, I think we'll talk about what to do if you suspect you have cancer, mm -hmm. and of course, what to do if you're diagnosed with okay, cancer. Okay, well, let's start that off by having you to uh, begin, and then uh, uh, for the next couple of minutes, then she'll uh, introduce some information in reference to some of the things that you've said, and then we'll end this first segment uh, with those statements, and then we'll come back with an eight-minute segment and really start talking about the issue. So I think that the average person never believes that, that they can get cancer or that anybody in their family could get mm -hmm. cancer. So let's put it into a personal mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. Dr. Haney, your risk of getting prostate mm -hmm. cancer, your risk mm -hmm. is one out of six. Mm -hmm. that, that means that by the time you get to be even older than you are now, mm -hmm. you're going to likely have a great chance of getting mm -hmm. prostate mm -hmm. cancer. Now for Beverly, over her lifetime, mm -hmm. the risk of her developing breast cancer is less than one in 10. Mm -hmm. That means out of every 10 women, more than one is going to get breast mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty common illness. Mm -hmm. so, so prostate cancer is, is a real problem that you deal with. It. It's the most common uh -huh. cancer there is. Uh -huh. I also understand that, that, that that's a real problem of, among African-American men. Is right. That, right. Mm -hmm. there, there are some groups mm -hmm. that specifically have increased risk to mm -hmm. developing certain cancers. Mm -hmm. African-American have an increased risk of developing mm -hmm. prostate cancer, a blood disease called multiple myeloma, mm -hmm. 
Um, and although they don't get breast cancer mm -hmm. as often as Caucasian women, mm -hmm. if they get it, it's generally worse. Mm -hmm. so, so there are different risk factors for mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say, uh, uh, Ms. Beverly uh, Weatherspoon, about uh, the possibilities of uh, people contracting cancer or some other disease that is peculiar to women? Well, it, it affects all of us. We mm -hmm. all know someone or a family member, a friend, someone who's e either survived cancer or is going through it now. Um, and it, it affects us because the incidence of cancer just increases with age, period. It doesn't mean you have to have a family history of it. And in the breast center, most... And, and we're going to have to take this first commercial oh, okay. break after Great. which we'll come back and pick okay. up. At the, and we'll be back with our audience following this short commercial.